Hello everyone, in this video we want to talk about feature scaling and we want to know why we should use it and we want to know about the different methods in the feature scaling. So first let's assume that we have some data, these data are related to the cars and we have 199 different cars here and we have different features of the cars here as the crop weight, engine size, horsepower, peak RMP, miles per gallon for city and mile per gallons for highway and the price of each cars and assume that we want to find out which of these cars are more proper to buy or we can assume we want to use some machine learning algorithms to for example for example classifying these cars or we want to use some clustering algorithms here most of the machine learning algorithms needs to scaling the feature and also in mcdm multiple decision making problems we need to scale our features so why we need to do that for example, here we see there is uh, large numbers in the crop weight, peak RMP and the price, but we have small numbers in the others. So for example, if I want to make average from these features, let's use simple average function here and then use this averaging to decide which of these cars have more average value by default the average function will give more weight on these large values in using average function we want to have same importance in all features if you use the weighted average you can use uh, weight importance for other for features but in the average simple average function all these features should be assumed with the same importance but if you not scale these values automatically the average function will give more weight more importance to the larger values so we want to avoid this uh, misunderstanding in the average function or other function which we will use lots in the machine learning or in the MCDM algorithms so what we should do we should scale all these features in the same domain so for example we should have the values of each of these feature being 0 to 1 for example or from minus 1 to 1 a scale so we want to scaling them and the methods for scaling the features are classified here we have four different methods however we have some more methods but these are most useful methods that can that is used in the machine learning or mcdm problems the simplest one is min max method in the min max method the scaled one is equal to the primary value minus to the minimum of my column or the minimum of the vector the feature divided by the domain of the vector which is the maximum value of the vector minus to the minimum value of the vector so let's prepare this one uh, we have all these function uh, generated here in the excel but let's see uh, the first one together so I make a copy from my example data and I want to be here and I want to name it as min max 2 so uh, let me remove these old values I do not need them and then I want to use the min max method here so it's equal to the primer value minus to the minimum of the vector so the vector or column is B all in the parentheses divided by open the parentheses maximum value of the vector 
or column B minus to the minimum one. So uh, I press the enter button. It say that you have you should there is incorrect parentheses. Let me check. One parenthesis here, it should be closed here, and one parenthesis open here, and this is now it's better. So, this is the scaled value. I need to calculate this formula for all other values in the vector. So, I press double click here, and I have all the scaled value which is from 0 to 1. The maximum one right now is one and the minimum one is zero and I need to calculate this formula for all other features for example the engine size the formula will be updated automatically by Excel so I need to have these values for all other data now I can use the average function however you should note that if you want to choose, for example, between car 1 and car 2, in the example data, let's see it here, the crop weight, if it's more, it's better. The engine size, if it's more, it's better. Better as well as the highway MPG, if it's more, it's better. But the price, if the price is less, then it's better. So when I want to calculate the average values here and then I want to rank them when the average is higher then the car is better but the price here is the problem. I need to recalculate it somehow to define if it's more than it's better. Right now if it's less it's better. So for example let's I have uh, some scale it price to make them if it's more then it's better so I need to divide the one by the price so I make it one divided by price I just inverse it so the reversed value will solve my problem because here when the one divided by price is more that it means that the price is less so if it, this one is more, then this one will be less. And here, I just need to calculate it for 1 divided by price instead of using the price value. So I just need to scale that, the scale the 1 minus 1 divided by price. And I need to change this value to the column I. So, here, if 1 divided by price is more, then the car is better. So, right now, I can use the average value. I can use the, I can calculate the average value here. And if I want to see which car is proper to buy based on these features, then I need to find which of these average value is more I can use the rank function as well so I can use rank average for example for this value the average value and the column I and then I can find out which have the rank one so this car is proper to buy based on the average method however in the in the multiple selection problems there is lots of formula and lots of methods the average is the simplest and also it's not so accurate one but we it's good for seeing it in the scaling problem so this is how we can use the scaling of the minimax for others the formulas, the formulas are same, however in the mean normalization you have average of the column instead of minimum of column. So in the normalization we normalize the values and also we have a standardization. In the standardization we have average value divided by a standard deviation. 
So, for example, in the standardization, we need to have the primer value minus the average of the column divided by standard deviation sample the standard deviation dot it means that sample the standard deviation of the column because the standardization is so important and most of the algorithms use the standardization the excel has the formula for standardizing and in this formula we just need to define the main value the primer value the mean value the average value which we use the average formula in it and the standard deviation for, uh, value which we use the standard deviation the standardization will make the data become the z score normalized it it's make the data be near to the normal distribution so if i use the histogram here we can see these data are nearly to the normal distribution so because of this feature the standardization method have lots of application in machine learning algorithms and the last one is the scale to unit length so here we define the scaled value is equal to x divided by the length of the vector so what we mean to let's go to the one note so for example here i have two samples x1 and x2 here we have 191 samples okay in one feature the first feature is the crop weight so for example we are using the weight crop weight so let's have our coordinations the one is for example here is x1 value the second one is x2 value and we have the weight for x2 for example for example 3000 weight can is its limitation and we have for x1 is 2000 so the point this point here have some length have some distance from the zero coordination so the distance the Manhattan distance will calculate this value from here and then from here so it means that the Manhattan distance is 2000 plus 3000 so it's equal to 5000 this is called the length one the l1 or the norm one however we have euclidean distance as well which is the nearest distance between these two points and it's equal to 2000 x1 minus zero the second coordination the second point so it's minus zero the to power two plus and 3000 minus 0 powered by 2 and make the second root of this summation so it's called the Euclidean length and also we have L3, L4 and more and in here it means that you should calculate the length by the norm or the length of the vector and then for having the scaled value divide the primer one to the length of the value for example here in our data if I want to scale the value to the length one we just need to divide the primer value to the summation of vector here 
because this is just the summation, the Manhattan distance. And then I just need to calculate for all other data features and these are all the same. So this is the first L, the L1, the Manhattan distance. However, for calculating the Euclidean distance for scaling by Euclidean distance, I just need to divide this value by the second root, the SQRT function of the sum is Q. This function Excel will calculate the summation of the power 2 of each cells, each value in this vector. So in this way, I can just simply calculate the second length scalar value, unit value. But for the more values, I just need to calculate the power of each value. For example, the power 3, I need to make, calculate the power 3 of each sample data for each vector. Here in my table, I have all these uh, power, to, uh, power to the 3 values right now. After that. I need to divide the primary value which is in my example data divided to the summation of this new powered value rooted to the one divided by three, three value here. So by this way I can have the unit scaled values as well for more powers. So for example, I have here for three, I can have it for four, power four, L4, L5 and more. However, the more power, the more value have more calculation timing and complexity. So when you're using these formula in your algorithm and or in your MCDM problems, multi-criteria decision-making problems. You have to note that there is some calculation complexity when you're using more power value, more n values. So when you want to have less complex calculation, you can use just min-max. But if you want to have more accurate data, more accurate scaling, you can use mean normalization. If you want to scale your values to the normalized distribution function, it's way better to handling data in the machine learning. So we, most of the people use the standardization. You can use this formula. However, it has a little bit calculation complexity. So be careful when you're using the standardization. Maybe when you have high complexity in your algorithm, it's better to use min max or min normalization. But if you want more accurate computation, you can use a standardization. The scale to the unit length in the, in the most cases is used in the MCDM problem, multi-criteria decision-making problems. And in the most cases, we use L1 or Euclidean distance. We use L1 means Manhattan distance or Euclidean distance for power 2. Thanks for watching and goodbye. In order to watch more training videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel DiacoOTD. And if you want to see our products, please visit our website diaco.co.uk.